Sanergy builds healthy, prosperous communities in urban slums uh, by making hygienic sanitation accessible and affordable for everyone forever. The way that we do that is by uh, building and manufacturing low-cost, high-quality, fresh light toilets, which we franchise to residents of informal settlements, uh, who then generally operate them as a business. Uh, we provide business support services like marketing, government relations, training, access to credit, uh, and then we also provide a regular waste collection service. So we safely remove the waste from the community, we take it to a centralized facility where we're aggregating it uh, and converting it into valuable byproducts like organic fertilizer, which we then sell on to farms uh, to boost agricultural productivity uh, and address food security challenges. Dr. Sarfati, I mean, he was a great systems thinker, right? He truly believed that you had to find a way to take advantage of the waste um, for, for good. And if you could do that, you would solve sanitation challenges uh, forever. Sarfati helped us in a couple of ways. First of all, you know, it really gave us great access to a network. Uh, we were able to go uh, up to uh, International Water Week in uh, Amsterdam, spend a week and, 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 and connect with all sorts of great uh, practitioners and thought leaders uh, and funders in the, in the water and sanitation space. Uh, second, you know, we are doing some of the hardest work in the world uh, and, you know, getting prize money enables us to, you know, to, to, to do more experimentation, do more research yeah. on problems that people haven't solved yet. One of the biggest challenges is land. Um, these are highly built up communities and, uh, you know, so often it's hard to find spots where we, need, where we can put our toilets. Um, and so what we built over the last two years is alternative distribution models. One of those is schools. We now work with 40 schools um, serving thousands of kids with hygienic sanitation for the first time. Uh, and we've seen increased enrollment rates, we've seen increased attendance rates, and now we're uh, starting a partnership with the Ministry of Education in Nairobi City County to expand, uh, expand that work. Um, second, we're also working on a residential model. Um, so we heard a lot of feedback from tenants in the, in the informal settlements who are asking about uh, how they could have access 24-7, so especially at night uh, when it's unsafe to go out um, of one's home. And, and so we've been able to work with landlords um, and now uh, we work with about 75 landlords in about 100 plots. Um, and this has been like a huge uh, shift in our model. Um, that ensures that we're reaching much greater coverage and, and ensuring that the community is much happier with the services that we're providing. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've had great progress, but you know, this is just the beginning. Um, and over the next three years, our goal is to serve 150,000 people here in Nairobi every single day with hygienic sanitation. Uh, we then think that we're going to have a model that we can start to take to other cities. Uh, you know, there's over a thousand cities throughout the developing world that faces the same infrastructure and waste management challenges that uh, Nairobi faces.